So I'm here with street artist Ken Foster, who is doing some awesome work in the downtown east side and has been for quite a while, 20 years. So what what got you into art? Um, um, just, I guess it was a way for me to just, I was just always making art as a kid. It was just sort of like I was a real sort of like blown sort of. When I was really, really, really young, yeah, I guess I was always uh, thought I was bad or something like that, and then I'd actually just sort of, it was like, always like that, you know, like, and then that was my world, right? <laughs> I would just go, like, just sort of draw, right? And that was it. Cool. And so, I mean, that's basically where it started a lot. You really want to go with that. Awesome. So, what are... From, uh, like, just got, kind of has this, like, really cycle of, like, things, like, just from adoptions and, and then just bad found, like, people, like, uh, always feeling there's something wrong with me, you know, or something. I, it's probably too much to get into on this to get for this, but yeah, I make art on the east side, right? Yeah, man. Yeah. So, do you get inspired by what's around you? And, and no, I don't really at all. I get depressed all the time. <laughs> about what's around you? Nah, I don't know. Nothing around me really inspires. I get inspired. I'm full of it. all comes from inside. I have no shortage of coming up with cool, either whether, whether it's just me making. I just, well, usually I'm just making images that are going to be like that are fresh and, and as well in style and content, like and basically you know angled to just sell to people that like something I would like to see, right? So, so in, if you know, people want to buy your work, what's the best way to do that? If they uh, want to commission they, you to do something, I just phone the Roosevelt Hotel. <laughs> So the Roosevelt Hotel, and then just say, hey, man, you know what? I'd like, like to pay to, you. Yeah. I'd like to be my name and number for Ken Foster. Cool. And yeah. then they can, uh, you know, That's just it, commission right? you to, yeah, to do exactly. some, some rad work then, hey? Yes. So I'm just curious, like, why, like, why do you do street art? And why do you do art? Is it just like... I guess I don't do street art anymore because I'm not living on the streets anymore. But I mean, I sell my art on primary. Like, I make a picture. <coughs> and uh, there was a time when I was making everything out in the alleys. And, you know, all, and, uh, but now I live inside. And uh, so I still make pictures on stuff. And then I walk, I choose to, yeah, I guess sell them outside on the street just because I... Well, because I don't know, because I don't have a, a box. Someone who wants a picture that I know, if, if I had a number I could call and then someone would come and buy a picture right away, then I would, I would do that. Right? But I don't feel like waiting around and basically that sort of thing. So I just go out and sort of do my circuit of the bars and the restaurants and this and that. And, and uh, so the, the people know me. I've been doing this for like a long time, like 10, 20 years down here. So everybody sort of knows me and they check out what I got. And, so how much do you sell pieces for? Uh, I don't like to sell anything. Usually that's in twenty dollars. So it's twenty dollars and it goes up. Yeah. But they're amazing paintings. People are buying like paintings that are, you know, like some of the, some of them like literally the most, some of the, like the best picture you've ever seen of an alley or something or like in the world, you know, for twenty dollars or something. Yeah. Yeah, there's some amazing paintings. Like, there's no doubt. Like, like seriously, the level of the level, it, it, it bypasses, uh, you know, any gallery that I've seen. Though most of them, yeah. Like, so sometimes not so much. Sometimes so much. It all depends on what I got to work with, too. Right? I'm pretty ghetto as far as supplies, supplies go. Go through, and I go through a lot of. Like, I mean, tomorrow I'll be getting a check from the government. And I'll be spending the whole thing, like, on basically, except for, like, $20 on, you know, paint. And it'll be gone. I'll paint. And it'll be gone in three days. I'll, you know, like, every single thing will be, all the paint will be gone. And that's, like, 200 whatever, something. Else. That's a good place to put the paint. If I, you know, I'm getting deductions off of my taxes to go towards stuff, I'd rather it be going towards people like you who are using it to buy paint, not drugs, man. Yeah. So that, I think that's... That's yeah, I do. Uh, there was a time when I would spend it all on drugs, right? You know what I mean? But I, either way, I still got to end up buying paint some way or another, right? So it, it ends up, it, it, whether I do it all at once or I do it whatever. So. That's awesome. But it's man. gotten more and more where I spend money on clothes and I spend money on food and I spend money on. on That's good. So my life's changing and whatever. I'm inside. Yeah, I'm proud of you, man.